Grab it, she good. Just grab it. Come on, Willow. Come on. Come here, come on. Hey, Bear has it. Lift her up and then grab the ball. <laughs> She's gonna make you run for it. Come on, Kai Bear. Come on, Ferrari. Hey, wait for Ferrari to get up here. Wait for him to get up here. There we go. Good boy, Ferrari. Good boy. Yeah, she gonna go get it every time. What's up, Ferrari? Got our girl, Kybera, right here. That's my wife is grabbing the ball from. Willow right next to her. And we got our big boy Ferrari in the mix also. Yeah. Hanging out here at the park this morning. We got a pretty chill day today. Today you guys are just gonna watch us hang out with the dogs pretty much. Our uh, H litter that our beautiful girl, Kybera right here produced. It's currently uh, seven weeks old today actually. Seven weeks old. And my wife lifts Kybera up like that just to get her to release it. Out, Kybera. There you go. Get her to release the ball, man. She got a whole lot of drive. She don't try to release it. Working on a little bite work with her too. Previously, before she had her litter, so she gonna try to hold on to that ball. Willow, she's even yeah, Willow, she don't care, man. Willow's more of like my family dog right here. She's the Mack truck, the family dog. Good girl, Kybera. Come on. Kybera, Ferrari. Come on. Got my little squeaker in my pocket. Just to keep them, just in case they get to moving around. They start to wander. Good girl, hello. And Max, who got the ball, Kybera? Right under her lip. She's always trying to hold it. You ready? You're like, uh-uh. Right. Willow all wore it out. Yeah. Just grab it, you're good. Just grab it. 
She ain't gonna do anything anyway. She just gonna move quick. Hey. No, you don't like that quick movement like that. Yeah, I already know. And she ain't gonna bite you, but she just moved quick. Just think about these. Her Ferrari, like. Yeah, they move super quick. But think about these dogs, man. You guys, these dogs will drive. They won't bite you. They know not to do that. But they will definitely accidentally put your hand in their mouth. They ain't gonna bite down, but they put their hand in your mouth in their mouth real, real quick. Come on, guys. Get some more water. What's up, big boy Ferrari? Turn into a man. Boy Ferrari turned into a man. You already know Willow the Mack truck. Got our girl Kybera right here. Getting ready to get them set up with the waters. Girl Kybera, she's the one that's been doing most of the work. Good girl. <laughs> what? He like, I want some water too. So she ain't trying to share. He gonna have to work for that water. She like, nah, he ain't getting it. Willow stretched out. She like, ooh wee. She it's stressed even, out. It's not even like hot. It's humid. Yeah, humidity is up right now. Well, you guys can see. Right? Yeah, it wasn't too bad. 87. Sun's not even out. Sun's not out. Nice and cloudy today. Perfect day to get a good walk in with the dogs. So we don't got too much going on today, man. We got too much going on. Unless, you know, we get a call and oh somebody's looking for a stud service like in that. And I think, was that episode one, baby? Yeah. yeah. Episode one, our first episode, got a call. Stud service, but today should be chill, man. It's Thursday. Chill day. Seven week old puppies today, though. Big old gorilla pups. And man, I feel bad for my clients on this litter, to be honest. I really do. Those people who are picking, this whole litter, but the guys who are picking out the males on this litter, man, we got a very, very hard decision to make because all of our puppies are consistent. All of them are fire. All of them are baby gorillas. Everything that, you know, we strive to produce here at Proctor House Rottweilers, I think we were able to do that with our girl Kybera and Hannibal. So very excited. Like I said, guys, all my clients out there, and they'll tell you. And some of them might even leave, drop a comment and let you guys know. Man, this is one of the hardest uh, litters to pick from, for sure. It's so hard that I might end up keeping two males off this litter. You guys know I got first pick male and uh, potentially might end up keeping uh, my seventh pick male also. That's how you know when you got quality and consistency in your litter when a breeder is sitting there like, man, I'll keep the first pick because obviously why not keep the first pick? But man, I'll keep the last pick, whatever everybody else leaves behind i'll probably end up keeping it moving him to my dad's house i said my boy's name is gonna be <laughs> watch out willow stud's name is gonna be hulk my first pick boy his name is going to be hulk i think this might be the first time you guys are hearing that but yeah his name is gonna be hulk and uh the second male i keep his name is gonna be henry and i know i'm gonna get people asking oh why do you want to name your dog henry why do you want to name him henry but the reason why i'm gonna name him henry is because name one person with the name Henry that was small. I never seen a small Henry, ever. And then because Henry is gonna go to my dad's house, unfortunately he is a Tennessee Titans fan um, and he likes Derrick Henry, Derrick Henry, so it's like, it only makes sense. Big boy Ferrari. And we actually have a vet appointment for him on the 13th, babe, to get his hips and elbows certified officially. And the moment those come back good, our boy Ferrari will be open for stud service. So I know I got a lot of people asking, when are we gonna allow Ferrari to stud? It'll be after we get his hips and elbows certified through FCI, send it back to Serbia, get those official certs done. Oh yeah, that's really all he is, massive baby, still maturing. Oh yeah, he's at officially, uh, what is he, 14 months? As of the seventh, he is 14 months old. It's a big old baby. What's up, guys? You guys can see, man, I got my hip walker right here, Kyber. She said, I'm gonna stay on your hip, Pops. You gonna stay on the hips. Hey, it's a big baby.
Oh, oh, yeah, you know she always wants some loving. My girl Willow, she usually be in the mix, but she, she said it's hot out here, y'all. We are tired. What's up, girl? I got the back. Yeah, let's get ready to start heading back to show these guys a closer look at my guys, Ferrari, Tibera, Big Girl Willow, Mack Truck Boy. I don't know no female standing like this, man. I ain't seen another one here in America for sure, so y'all let me know. I ain't never seen another female like this in America. Not even close, to be honest. I think the only things that's like this, even in Serbia, to be told with this type of Structure, headpiece, and stature is really her mom and some of her litter mates. That girl Roxy Dayokris, I really like her. Her mom is Naomi Dayokris. You guys can Google search those dogs right there. You'll see what I'm talking about. Kybera, another banger though. What's up, Ferrari? All right, start heading out, guys. Getting that bag ready. Got my son's bag holding all the goodies. Wrap it up. <laughs> All right, last one. All right, now let's start heading back. I'm about to say, I was waiting for Willow to try to take that inside or just back up in general. She usually the cruiser. Keep them on the sidewalk, Willis. There we go. Everybody's nice and worked out. So as soon as we get home, we trying to lay down. I doubt it. As soon as we get home, we're going to clean up. The morning cleanup is what's gonna go down. Look at Ferrari. <laughs> hey, you retiring, Ferrari? <laughs> hey, he said, let me let me lay down mid walk, y'all. They say it's hot out here. I said, guys, it's what 87 right now. No sun. Sun started to actually creep off, so we decided to hit him. Take off. Get back to the house. There we go. Ferrari said so he's tired. <laughs> I'm gonna have to help my wife uh, walk this boy Ferrari, so I'll tap back in once we make it to the house. Let's get back to the house. It's gonna be a little loud today, guys. We got the guys up front working on the sewer. Let's see, man, we got a mess from last night. This is for my girl Lotto right there, man. That's Lotto duty right there. She messed around and got into uh, Ferrari's uh, food last night. It's going crazy. We got Simba out here free. Our girl Candy. Look at that big girl right there. The heavy, heavy producer. I, I want to say our best producer here, just going off of her past litters. She, as, you, as I mentioned before, she produced Dakar, Diller, Doha, Pink, Panamera. I mean, the list continues and goes on. But um, after seeing with my girl Willow, what's up? <laughs> what's up, Simba? Um, after seeing with my girl Willow, and Kybera just produced off they first go around. I don't know. I do not know. Only time will tell to see who is uh, the best producer on the yard. We got a battle of producers. But if we gonna speak on, you know, past previous litters, our girl Candy is definitely number one as far as producing. No questions asked. It's a good steal shot of our boy Simba. All up in the mud, they're digging somewhere. I guarantee. Or Simba's still beautiful, man. Even though he slimmed down, got his summer body on, looking nice and lean. Still got that big old monster head on him. Beautiful boy. But yeah, man, we're gonna get ready to start cleaning up. Do a quick walkthrough. Watch out. Got our girl Vera back here, hanging out. I can't wait to breed this girl Vera again. I cannot wait, guys. Vera, what's up, mamas? This girl, she's a direct daughter from Eminem, Vaughn Edelstein. She's so focused on that big truck back there, messing with the uh, sewage in the front. 
But yeah, I can't wait to breathe there again. Oh man, I, I, I don't know who I'm a runner to, man. Either I'm a runner to my boy Simba, runner to Simba. Obviously, you know, I, I could run it to Ferrari. I think Simba might be one of the better lineups for this girl right here. Oh, let's get back there. Let's get Simba back there. Stay back, Candy. We got Simba back there on the left next to our beautiful girl, Vera. But I really think, man, this right here, this pairing right here would be a nasty lineup. It'd be a two to three on uh, Eminem. Eminem's our girl Vera's dad. And Eminem is actually Simba's grandfather on his dad's side. Direct to John Rambo, son. But I really think uh, Vera and Simba will click very, very nicely. Also, obviously I could run her to my boy Ferrari, but I really been thinking about it, man. I've been getting a lot of people asking me about, you know, Razor pups, Razor litters. I've been thinking about running our girl to Razor. I think that would be a crazy combination as well. You guys let me know, man. I think that's something I want to start letting you guys chime in on. Only a little bit, only a little bit. You know, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take it lightly. Um, because you guys know I study blood and all that kind of stuff. But let me know what you guys think, man. What you guys think? Think we should do another razor litter here at Proctor House? You guys know razor dropped some bangers with my fire producer, Princess. Actually, I got to stop calling her my producer because she actually was sold. But, you know, she produced some bangers with Princess. Um, and also, guys, I have... My Razor daughter, you guys know, I let go of my first pick female out of that Razor and uh, Princess litter. I let her go. She's actually at my boy's house who owns Simba's sister. Now, honestly, I'm not really sure how good you guys can hear me, but I sent my Razor daughter over there because I knew I was gonna be getting a puppy back off of Razor and Simba's sister. You guys know I have Lotto here, so I wanna have two um, cousins here so we can do some line breeding, stuff like that with these two, but Let's go ahead and get this cleaning started. You guys can see, man, kennels are disgusting still from last night. Do our walkthrough. Girl Vera, Candy, she's actually did this this morning. All right. But yeah, let's get to cleaning, guys. Got the whole yard cleaned up. Thing nice and organized now. Got our girls Willow and Lotto. Let me see if I can catch right here because I know when I pop in. See, I was gonna ruin them all. So as you guys seen, I was cleaning up with that pine all. Um, and I was doing that because I did not have any more of my cleaning solutions. So we're actually getting ready to head out right now. Just got my boy Zeke. We're just waiting for our food to come out. We ordered some cars during here today. But uh, but yeah, we're getting ready to head to the store. Show you guys where I get my cleaning supplies from because I know a lot of people have been asking. You guys from Arizona, you guys know exactly what we just came out of right now. 
the famous tunnel, huh, Papas? You like the tunnel? I guess that's a no. Uh, you see that boy giving that stink face? But it's all good, though. We, we're getting ready. We're getting close. I'm um, getting ready to get off of 16th Street to hit this spot that I go to called Ryan's Pet Supply. Um, hopefully, they have it in stock. I'm pretty sure they do. Um, but sometimes they have different uh, scents and stuff out of stock. But can't wait to show you guys what they have to offer in here. Let's see what they got. You see my wife rocking a new paint Proctor House shirt. We'll be putting these out on sale pretty soon. Let's go back here, baby. Come on, Pablos. Let's do it. You guys seen this store before, possibly in the previous video. I definitely showcase this spot every time I come in here. I tell myself, man, I need to hurry up and buy some of these stackable kennels. We prefer these over what I have now. Got a little bit of everything here though, guys. This is where I used to get a lot of my snacks and treats and stuff for the dogs. Oh look, they even got a little, a little crate area. Sorry, Papa. 140, not too bad. I used to always get all my snacks and stuff here, but found a cheaper option for sure. So I don't get this stuff here anymore, but uh oh, did they open it back up? I think they opened it up again. Did they open it up. Oh yeah. I'm actually happy I am recording this here today then. Happy I'm recording today then. Get access to a lot more stuff for a long time. They actually had this back area closed off. We didn't get no access to it since COVID, but I'm happy to see it open. Oh yeah, this is cool. You got the leashes. Smoke down here. Hello. Let's see what we can find. This is actually the first Friday that they actually opened this back up. So I just talked to one of the associates. So they're only gonna be doing this on Fridays and Saturdays. Yeah, that's it right there. Uh, we're gonna go with the, which one is that? Let's go, yeah, cherry and oak. I that's usually what I get. All these ones. Yeah. Yeah, they got flavors. Well, what you want? Which one you want to try? I just usually go I with do cherry. Like, I do like the cherry. Yeah, though. cherry is what I like. And a lot of my clients like the cherry also. I, I showed them, uh, I showed them this in the last video, baby, and uh, they liked it. Yeah, yeah. And to the clients that uh, I'll be shipping puppies out here in the next couple of weeks, when you get your puppy, smell your pup. And that's exactly what you're gonna be smelling the cherry and oats. Cherry and notes. How's it going, guys? But yeah, let's see. Got all the leashes. Let's see what we can find, baby. So we're looking for the cleaning supplies right now. What you got, boy? I'm right here. What you get, Papa? What'd you find? Whoa. Yeah, I told you guys, man, my son loves these little dog toys. You think they're his? What's up, Papas? Oh, yeah, this is what we need right here for our females when they have their puppies and we have to do c-sections come on let's not play puppies let's not can't go through that. this it's dangerous very very dangerous yeah. and it got dark up in this back corner real quick mm -hmm. yeah but i asked her if she's gonna get a uh, get us a cart because i found the solution that's over okay. there on the side but we'll check out some of these all still so it's the first time that we actually got access to the back area in since covid but they got the little leather leashes I don't got all the colors that I'm looking for, but these aren't a bad option if you guys are looking for those leashes that I put on the pups. Let's see what else we got. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, we got the dog bowls. Five bucks. Right. You guys know me, man. I'm gonna go to the dollar store. Same type of metal bowls, though. Let's see. Man, I'm just happy to be back here to be honest guys super happy and excited to be able to come back here this is actually where i used to get my first savers from also and then i stopped finding the first uh, first savers and just started making my own stuff what are you doing boy be careful you can't get in this basket boy hey, look how big you is in this basket you're helping get in there i guess you got to get right out there because you got to put those boxes in there you got it Okay, let me help you. Just it. <laughs> oh Woo! You got in the basket, dude. There you go. Hold it. You gotta hold it. <laughs> oh, they got the little toys in here too, baby. They got a lot of toy options. I never see these toys when I'm looking at the catalogs and stuff. Yeah, it's 
different person. Yeah. Are you trying to get somewhere? Uh, I don't know. I don't think I need anything, to be honest. As far as toys go. Um, yeah, we've been hitting the dollar store heavy. And all they're going to do is just run through these toys anyway. So there's no point for me to... Be Dude, careful, son. Sit down. Sit down. <laughs> sit down. Thank you. But, um... But yeah, I think we're just gonna rock with the dollar store toys. Let's hurry up and go ahead and grab this uh, this cleaning solution, baby. Let's get up out of here so we can get back to the house. Showcase these puppies. No, what do you mean, see, son? What are you trying to get for the dogs? Or maybe for yeah, himself. Probably for himself. That's mine. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, he ain't talking about no dogs. You putting that back? Yeah, see, yeah, that's how my boy Z can get you, hit you with the trickery, and then uh, be up out of there. Hey, so guys, so check this. There's one thing that I'm actually trying to do is I'm going to be making um, some custom leashes. I got a few of them already done, um, but we're gonna test them out, see what they look like, they're leather leashes. You guys will be seeing those here in the next uh, few weeks as well. But this is where we need to grab our stuff. Daddy. But the only bad thing about this today is as you guys can see, they got the lasting lavender, which you guys have been seeing me using videos. I like to use the mint as well, but my favorite go-to is the cherry, and they do not have that in stock anymore. But it's all good, so we're going to grab this lasting lavender. Hey, water? hey man, I'm cool on the free water. Hey, they can keep that, baby. I'm, hey, I'm cool, but uh, let's get up out of here. <laughs> In this video, I just really want to showcase the quality that we're putting out here at Proctor House Raw Wallers. And a reminder, guys, this is only year two of producing with this name. Some of you guys may know, some of you guys might not know, but we started breeding back in 2008 when I was in high school, and uh, we took a nice long break. And this is uh, year two coming back, and year two starts off with our H litter. And as you guys have been watching all the way from A to you know now H, we have progressed, produced better quality puppies, more consistent litters through every single litter. So you guys can only imagine what these puppies look like um, since the last time you guys seen them two weeks ago at six weeks old. But let me go ahead and bring some of these puppies out. Let the puppies do the talking. Well, I should say some of the talking because I'm very, very impressed with this litter. Um, super impressed. I'm so impressed that I'm actually going to be keeping three puppies out of this litter. So that'll tell you guys something, guys. Because as you guys know, before this litter right here, I wasn't keeping anything, but that was because the game plan for year one. So year one, the game plan was to produce the best quality puppies I can and get those out across America um, and as many high quality puppies I can. I did that so that way I can build my name up way bigger than, you know, just here in Arizona. I can hit anywhere nationwide, which I think I have done that so far um, with, you know, promoting it and building, you know, the Proctor House brand. So that was year one, put enough fire puppies out so everybody you know can get fire puppies. They know, hey, Proctor House is producing it and Proctor House will actually let go of very, very top quality puppies, right? So year two is gonna be the year of me actually keeping my own productions to where I'm actually starting to build my camp up around things that I produce myself. Um, so with that being said, let's go ahead and showcase these puppies, man. I'm pretty sure you guys are gonna be impressed. Take a look from the bottom, I know it's hard to believe you can achieve it without them And they gon' love though they doubt it Better have stamina cause success is a mountain